Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will demonstrate how open source data can be collected from Twitter. If you want an introduction to what social media OSINT is all about, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You can find the link to it in the description box below. Before you begin collecting open source data from Twitter about a target, I encourage you to think of all the possible data points that you can retrieve from a Twitter profile. Here are some examples. From the bio section, you can find the user's Twitter profile name, handle, Twitter joining date, profile photo, location, number of followers, number of profiles followed, etc. From a single tweet, you can find the date and time when it was posted, text, pictures or accompanying links, number of likes, and comments on the tweet. By default, location information is not added to a tweet. At the time of posting, a user can choose to append location information with a tweet. You can find the tweets that have been retweeted, along with the comments. When you study the interesting tweets, you will get an idea about other Twitter profiles that regularly interact with your target. You can organize all the information in a mind map to help you during the investigation. Once you have an anonymous Twitter account set up for OSINT activities, you can begin your investigation. Now, I will tell you about some tools that you can utilize to collect open source data from Twitter. Tweeple Search helps you search for Twitter profiles, bios and influencers, based on the search term. Let us perform a search for the hacker's news. We can find the Twitter profiles associated with this search term. The Twitter account associated with the first result had been created 12 years ago. You can see the number of followers and number of tweets made. We can also perform a search based on hashtags. I will search for digital forensics. Some Twitter users include hashtags in their bios. This search will identify Twitter profiles with the hashtag digital forensics in the bio. You can also export these results to a CSV file. All My Tweets is a tool that helps you view the tweets, likes, profiles followed, and followers for a specific target. Let's look for open source data about the hacker's news profile. You can find the location in which the profile is based in. This information would be present if the user had included it in their profile. When the Tweets button is clicked, we can view all the tweets made by this profile. We can view the date at which a tweet was posted. Here is the list of tweets liked by this profile. When a target has liked a post, it expresses the target's interest in that post's content. During an OSINT investigation, this information is very valuable. You can also find the list of followers for the hacker's news. And the list of profiles followed. Tweet Archivist is another tool that can perform this same task. In addition to retrieving the latest tweets, Tweet Archivist will also analyze this profile's activity and display information like the list of users most interacted with, words most used in posted tweets, languages posted in, other profiles mentioned, hashtags used, etc. Social bearing is another similar tool. Try it out. Being aware of multiple tools to perform the same task will be useful to validate the results of one tool. Every Twitter profile is assigned a unique identifier. Even if the handle associated with the account is modified, the unique identifier does not change. TweeterID.com is a tool that accepts a Twitter handle as input and displays its corresponding identifier. Alternatively, 
you can also provide the identifier as input and view the handle associated with the account. This tool is extremely useful when you suspect that a target has changed their Twitter handle. If a Twitter profile has been found to violate the community guidelines by performing activities like spamming or harassing other users, then that profile is temporarily banned from Twitter activities. This is referred to as a shadow ban. This tool can be used to identify whether a particular Twitter profile is currently being shadow banned. All you need to do is type in the handle and view the results. There are different levels of shadow banning. You can read about them here. 1 million tweet map shows tweets being made around the world in real time. You can zoom into a specific geographical region to see what people are tweeting about. You can also search for a specific hashtag. If any tweets have been made in the last 24 hours using that hashtag, it will show up on the map. You can also perform a search for a specific time range. You can also utilize search engines like Google to search Twitter by constructing search queries. Here, we are searching across Twitter for tweets by the hackers news that contain the keywords exploit and zero day. We can also view the latest results using the time filter. I hope you have a good idea now about how open source data can be collected from target Twitter accounts. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!